zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and oh, that got him on the mound. Goes to second, safe there. Here's a big power threat, Kyle Mansardo. Oh, and this one's plastic. It's on its way out of here. He's great at baseball, but he's also known for working with charities and in his community. He's a Marte. Steps on the bag for one, and that's two. One hit in the inning, but no one left. On to the bottom of the first. No score. the ground might be two. The underhand flip over to Perdomo. That's one. Plenty of time and first accidental blow. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork. And a... On the ground, right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. That one not close. And that's ball one. Well, you've got to establish the inside part of the plate early. And that sends a message not just to this hitter, but to the rest of the crew. That's to third. Loves it on the dive from his backside. Nicely done for the out. It's cat-like reflexes over there at the hot corner. Nice job of making that play and ending the inning. Only Giancarlo Stanton has hit more with greater exit velocity than Judd. Look out, though. Shohei is quickly climbing those charts. Alex Verdugo. Base hit into the outfield. Here's the throw. They get the force for out number one. Well, this one of those plays that happen sometimes, but it never really should. It seems like you just got a bad read on the ball, and the good throw from the outfield was perfect to get the out. It hit him. No chance for a play. And let's hope the righty's not hurt on the mound. And now they'll hustle out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took as you see him down on the knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain. But he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. Look One run across in the frame so far. Last half of inning number five. There goes the runner. That's it for a strike. Solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now 4-2. Look at me. I'm feeling so powerful. Look at me. Look at me. Keep swerving. The sliding play it short. The throw. And that's a great play for the out. Nothing doing here this half. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Diamondbacks full. 
And he deals. Here's a rip to shoot. But he's there for the third out. Yanks held in check. They trail it here, four to two. Here comes the 01. Swung on and fouled off. And he'll need to do bad. Third baseman, Anthony Volpe. On the ground to short, could be two. Perdomo, over to second, on the first, double play. Nice soft hands on the backhand right there in the six hole. Starts the double play. That's not an easy throw, but he puts it on the money. Really good job to get that double play started. Rip to short. Throw to first. And ball game. And the Diamondbacks extend their winning streak to five in a row. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level. And you start to gain this momentum. And you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers are pitching. The team is making the plays defend. This to third, and foul ball. And that'll do it. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Guardians two, and the Mariners one. And he'll one. Garver on his way to third. Throw comes in. Runner stopped. Second and third. Nobody out. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Bounce to third. A sliding stop. Throw to first. And very nicely done for the out. Nothing doing here this half. We go to the bottom half of inning numbers. We're down. the turn he's digging for second caught in a rundown now they get the tag on him and that's the second out David Fry digs in for the Guardian yeah. the line in the pitch Junior calls it in and there's one away nothing you can do about nothing those as a hitter even up. though you know that they still drive you absolutely crazy They seem to live for him. And you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to. That smash towards center. He's got his bulky. And the Mariners strand the go ahead run to hold on for the win. That looked like the pitcher was getting into a little trouble there, but quickly brought out a pitch that isn't what most hitters are looking for with that great velocity. But it was really good movement on the changeup and a nice win today. One run game here today. Your final score, seven to six. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outs, Simeon made 35 errors as a shortstop in 2015 with the Oakland A's. And by the time 2021 came around, he won a gold glove with the Blue Jays. Everything came together for him. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. 
ultimate professional and it doesn't just start at game time it starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game I tell you what his teammates feed off of the leadership Two outs bounce to the left side oh, and it goes just foul back to back singles for him I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it that pitch was inside and he let it get really deep a man aboard with a one out single just so sound in his mechanics hits against a firm front side and the hands just continue to kick on the ground a second might be two there's one relay to first double play He's so good at coming across the bag and snagging it with the bare hand to throw. I like the flair that he brings day in and day out. Check there behind the plate. The 1 1. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. It's the center and a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Just so sound in his mechanics. It's against a firm front side. On the ground, right side. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. The throw is still in time, and they do get the out. This is what it's all about on that right side of the diamond when you've got the first baseman involved in the pitcher as well. First baseman does a great job, knocks the ball down, gets away from a little bit, doesn't panic. The pitcher's exactly where he's supposed to be. Nice feed and a nice... The 1-1. In the air to left, down the line. Nimmo drifts towards it, leaps at the wall, and he's got it. One left for Detroit, but they lead it four to nothing. This is the zone, and he gets him to chase. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Met strand one. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Ground ball right side. And that one handled on the run. Sends it over to first. In time. Got him. And that'll do it. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. Tigers four and the Mets nothing. The Mets. Grounded to third. Could be two. Urshela oh. over to second. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. As a former player, watching now, five, four, three double Better plays move, brings back some adrenaline. Yeah, it's such an exciting play. And it's always Swing, and he breaks his back. The throw to first, and Martinez is out. Play made. That ends the inning. Catcher for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. Grounded to third. Could be two. Off balance feed. There's one. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. Eight innings, eight zeros as the shutout continues here. Tigers four and the Mets nothing. Right handed reliever. And that one fouled off. The pitch. Ground ball could be two. Over to McNeil. Over to Alonzo. Double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there. And his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between shit. One for three. 
Ground ball left side could be two. Jumps, throws, one out, bottom of the nine. Seems like the hitters are struggling with their timing today. Kind of caught in between that short fastball and the nasty slider. I'd like to see him settle on a consistent pitch. Two on, one out. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Off balance feed, there's one. And that's a double play to end it. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. Oh. This hitter not a power guy, so you want to make sure that he can get some length on the secondary lead and perhaps score on a ball in the gap. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. You gotta love his hustle down the line to beat the flip to the back. I mean, there's a lot going on between a first baseman and the pitcher during these plays, and he just kept his head down and beat it out. And it drops in. Throw in holds the lead runner at third, so it'll be bases loaded. And two ball. First two swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat. Just kind of muscled it out there. And on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher. But you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there. Ball on the show, Florida. Now with one away. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel. Go back up the middle and the other way. Pre game preparation. And now Jake Berger on the ground, two ball. One at second, double play, and that'll do it for the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Three innings complete. It's the Marlins four and the Angels one. One for two. Right side, dives, but it kicks off his glove. Still oh. able to get it there in time. And they do get the third out of the inning. And the Angels are gone in order. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. The first game, number nine. Yeah. Here's Josh Bell. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher. The attention will walk here with two out. They set up a force at any base to end the inning. First and second, two down. And now for the Marlins, Jesus Sanchez. Here, puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. Angels threaten, but leave them loaded. The score holds at 4-3. Chisholm Jr. Hit on the ground might be two. Quickly to second for one. Double play. What a twin killing day. In the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Marlins four and the Angels three. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Anthony Bender. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's Aaron Hicks. Aaron Hicks. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers, and fouled off. Righty to the plate, and that one fouled off. He 
And the next pitch is way outside. Signs of activity in the pen for the Marlins. Tanner Scott, the closer of the staff, is getting loose to finish this one off. Always having a tough time getting the pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. to a two. Right-handed reliever. Please Anthony Rendon on deck for the Angels. So now three and two. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. <laughs> I don't know how this at bat will end, but I'll be sad when it does. So much fun watching this thing go back and forth. On the ground, right side, takes it himself. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. That's why you hug the lines on the court. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. And it stays fair. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. stats and now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases and that one is lifted in the air lays out oh it's off his glove throw back in quickly first and second now with nobody out a couple of singles back to back that could be a really tough pitch to handle a front door breaking ball but he did a great job staying in there keeping that front shoulder closed and didn't spit off the ball and hook it foul which happened so many Swing and a pop-up picks. Flying after this one. Now the cat cat. So digging in, Christian Bethencourt. Less margin for error and boot to your dismay. Not much sacrifice bunting. Teams usually try for the big inning. Certainly not that much bunting for the swing and a ground ball the middle. That's a base hit. So they hold the runner at third, wanting to play it safe. Think that comes back to bite him? Boy, it's hard to say. That runner on second to start extras is critical, and you want to make sure you don't waste him. If they don't score this inning, there'll be some second guessing for sure. And neck their heads. Rip to short. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. Well, you hate to make mistakes with base runners, whether it's giving up a home run or making an error like that, and it's costly. Two runs come around to score, and sometimes that defense can just tighten up a little bit, get too excited rather than just settling in and making the play. Tanner Scott will take over here. He's making his fourth. 0-1 now. In the air, left side. Hicks is there for it. Drops into the glove. Who comes around from third? That's a quality of that right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that 
that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Here's the third baseman, Jake Berger. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. Make a great catch like that. It's all about timing the jump. His timing was perfect. Excellent grab, and he comes down with it. The inning is over. And a pitch. Ripped to short. Snagged on a bounce. Sends it across the first. Awesome play there. Chris, a jump throw like that is certainly worthy of the stack cast treatment. Let's see what the numbers have to say about it. Yeah, these are some favorable numbers, Boo. This is the type of play that showcases his arm strength. I mean, he made it look easy, but I promise you, that's not a throw every shortstop can make, especially with that much behind it. Wilson Contreras. And the righty deals. That one out to right. This looks like extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's there with a leadoff double. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far. On the ground to third. Slides for the stop. The throw. And very nicely done for the out. These guys are swinging more than 80% of the time, which is fine. If you're oh, look at this! Over to first! And that's a great play for the out. Well, he makes a great decision to go ahead and dive to stop that ball. Nice little flip to the pitcher covering. There's those PFPs, pitchers, fielding plays. Bounced up the middle. Fires to first. And Contreras is retired. And that is the inning. Two left on for midway in the fourth. It's the Padres two and the Cardinals nothing. Pack for him in recent games. And there's a rocket into the outfield around third. And they strike first as they take a one nothing lead. Cut off, throw to second, and he's in there as they jump ahead and run score. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Fair ball! Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. And the righty deals. On the ground. Fires to first on the run. They get the out. And that'll do it. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. Home half of the fifth coming up. Nothing doing for Arizona. They still trail it here, four to three. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hits out. Just a little early, still barreled in, as you see, home run. Oh, and he hit yep. him. I got him. Take your break. So, Boog, if you had to take one for the team, where would you want to get hit? Chris, I think I'd have to no, say no, off no. hamstring. Runner at first right, no. two away. Randall Gritchett yeah. now at the plate. the ground 
to first. Two up, two down. And uh, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Bottom part of the order. Seven. At the belt and fires. Bounce to the left side. A sliding stop on the Simeon. A sensational double play. As a former player, watching 5 4 3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Flips it behind his back. They take the force out, inning over. Making it look easy at the keystone position. Definitely worth another look. He'll get some high fives when he gets into the dugout. I'm just a simple man. Oh, yeah. Five. Comebacker to the mound. On the first, one out in the second. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter and a tough one at that. So next in. Line drive. Come on. That's what you got to have at the hot corner. Cat-like reflexes. Line drive caught by the third baseman as he dives. Terrific play. To it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Line drive base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at third, so it'll be bases loaded and two gone. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside and he let it get really deep, so pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Now the bases. From Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, the show has an AL East matchup. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the New York Yankees. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars by that is pretty valuable. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer leash, and because of that. Judge rips that one. And that gets down into the gap. Stanton around second, heads for third. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out fine. Ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Two suits. Line drive. Nice grab. That ball was ticketed for right center field all the way, but not so fast, the second baseman says. Leaps up into the air and brings it down. Some nice hang time as well when he was up there. To the right side. A sliding stop. Gathers and throws. Nicely done for the out. One left for Toronto. They're down here. Five. Two and one on Judge. Swung on and fouled off. And he'll need to do bad. Play. That's the inning. Yanks strand a pair. And it remains an eight to one game.
foul ball there. Max said he's not sure who actually started at first, but it was 2019, and he and Giolito, who were teammates together in high school in Los Angeles, they had the idea to become more familiar with the opposing lineup using MLB to show. Just misses. One and two to count. Could tell Marte up to the plate. And that one is lifted in the air. It falls in, and that's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. And that is his 1,000th major league hit. Over. A nice moment Lewis. for him. Yeah, anytime you flip the page on a career milestone, it feels really good. You know that number's in front of you for a long time, and you can't get there fast enough. Good for him. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Good piece of hitting going the other way with that pitch to beat the shift. You know, not a lot of guys are willing to do that, even with the shift on, because they're looking to pull the ball with authority. But it's a pretty easy hit if you want it. People be talking, don't know what they say, and let me reassure you so no. and he can't hang on. The throw is still in time. And on the outer run scores. Breaks his back. Not in time, he legs it out. Well, from the time you're a little leaguer, you're taught to hustle out of the box and give it a full sprint through the base, regardless of how you hit it. And he Coming to you live from Southern California, it's Major League Baseball on a Friday night. It's the Boston Red Sox and the Los Angeles Angels. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Here we go, Singy. The fans have been waiting for this Major League debut for a while, and it's finally here. There's a lot of hype around his talent, and now we get to see how that looks at the big league level. Yeah, this is the kind of game it's going to be shared all over social media later tonight. Baseball fans all across the world are aware of this debut, and we're lucky enough to be at the stadium for it, so I'm excited to see what he's got first. And my advice to him Evers. and he grounds one back up the middle oh, nice play it's there and that's a great play well this is obviously a tremendous play but for me it starts with a well broken in drum to have the confidence to go down knowing that ball is going to be right in the pocket so you've got a clean transfer pop back up to the feet and fire across the diamond outstanding job Two outs, base is empty. Now batting Tristan Cossett. Makes a sliding stop. Gathers and throws. And very nicely done for the out. Man, that was bang, bang. Tough to tell at full speed, boo. I gotta be honest with you, I couldn't tell either. As they ask for time to check with their replay guys about a possible challenge, we wait and see. Yeah, and we usually get a couple of close ones every game, it seems, and this one is just about as close as it gets. Here's Nolan Gorman. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. Swing and a miss. Oh, and he lost the handle on that one. Two strikes. Big part of their plans moving forward. Yeah, I would agree. And I don't think he would have gotten the call up here in April if they felt like he needed a lot more development down in the minors. Base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. 
Jackson Holiday with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Thank you. The pitch. Oh, great stop. One at second. Out. To first, not in time. Great effort there. So up next, Nolan Gorman. even further behind just can't let it compound from here though you got to flush it get ready for the next one make a play get back in the dugout out to short Whips it to oh. first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Nationals leave one. Can't chip away at an 8-3 deficit. Look out! Perfect. And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Bases full, two gone. Here's the catch.